We will talk here about employee testing, interviewing, and selection. Personal selection function implementation comes after the organization has already set its organizational structure, shock analysis, personnel planning, and it has selected from the candidates already applied for the pre positions through the recruitment activity. It ends with the selected individuals placed in the job in the jobs with required by the organization. The organizations should create a selection process in support of its job requirements resulted from job analysis. The job analysis already identifies the KSACs required in order to get the best employee in order to fit the job and fit the organization. The function of personnel selection is so important to the organization as as it helps the organization to achieve the best performance standards and save the cost in terms of the cost of hiring improper employees of being not productive um, not productive in the in their jobs and the time spent of the selection process in the selection process also the personal selection is important because of achieving two main aspects person job fit and person organization fit person job fit focuses on fitting the person's abilities sk abilities skills and competences with the requirements of the job and person organization fit focuses on the compatibility and matching between the pe people and the organization in terms of values, needs, and interests. When we go to the steps and stages in the selection process, we have a screening and filtering applications and CVs, testing, interviewing, checking background and references, medical examination, and maybe honesty, testing, and making a selection decision. One of the main selection stages that, that the organization cannot neglect is realistic job review, is to provide the potential employees with an accurate introduction about the job and its circumstances, its schedule, its extreme conditions in order to uh, enable the employees or the, or the potential employees to make self-filtration before getting the job off. Organizations use application forms in order to collect quickly verifiable and fair information about the history of the job candidate. It includes contact information, work experience, educational background, technical experience, and others. The information gathered from application forms helps the organization to collect information about applicants' education and experience, its progress and growth in past performance, and protecting the employment stability in the organization, the applicant's employment st stability in the organization, and the likelihood of success. The employment tests may include physical ability tests, cognitive ability tests, job performance tests, work sampling, personality, honesty, drug tests, and medical examination. Most organization starts with cognitive tests that measure the intellectual abilities of the applicants and may include uh, some types of tests like IQ, uh, memory uh, testing, verbal fluency, numerical abilities. Other type of selection tests like motor abilities tests that it may include the testing finger dexterity, manual dexterity, and reaction time. This type of test is required by some jobs in some organization, but not necessary in all organizations. Then come to interest inventories. Testing, this type of test enables the organization to compare one's interests with those people in various occupations. And then the achievement test in order to measure 
what the candidates has, have already learned in their past experience. When we come to the personality tests, we have two types of tests, projective tests and self-reported tests. The projective tests are done by the psychologists who rep uh, represent or who present an ambiguous stimulus and ask the person to explain and react to the situation or this vague uh, picture or ink plot. Other personality tests are self-reported that l looks like statements and the uh, candidate or the applicant has to sign from 1 to 5 according to Likert scale, for example, how this statement is applicable for him. But here we have to care about the self-reported test design and its reliability and validity. The most popular model adopted in order to measure the personality characteristics of the applicants is the big five personality characteristics, which are conscientiousness, openness to experience, emotional stability or neuroticism, extroversion and agreeableness. And this figure and the next slide explain the main characteristics of each of these personality traits. We come here for work so sample tests as the work sample test is high, uh, with high reliability because when we measure the performance of candidates in similar situations like which we they will have in the job, most probably you will have uh, you will reach a right decision. These are the main advantages and the disadvantages of work sampling. It is with high reliability and high validity, low adverse impact, and uh, difficult to be subject for fake responses. But the main disadvantages of this test is its cost. Work samples and simulation tests may include situational and behavioral tests, which may require the examinee or the trainee, uh, the applicants to respond to certain situations found on the job and the basic procedure with work sampling in order to perform tasks like they will have in the in their jobs and a management assessment center which may uh, focus on the management and skills and managerial leadership skills required in order to get more uh, higher positions in the structure and to measure the leadership potential in the candidate. Some organizations also use polygraph or lie detectors for honesty testing. Others may depend on and, um, and use, uh, not depend, a graphology uh, testing, that is the handwriting analysis to get more insights about the basic personality traits. And the medical examination is required by most of the organizations in order to uh, test if the applicant has meet the job's physical requirements and maybe to ensure um, it, uh, uh, there is no medical limitation for the in medical insurance available in order to predict the percentages or uh, the probability of absenteeism and accidents. The interview is another way of selecting uh, candidates. The purpose of the interview is that it, it provides two-way exchange of information. It enables the HR and the interviewer to sell the organization, to sell the position to the candidates, and to meet personally the candidates in order to be able to evaluate him or her um, in a more effective way. When we talk about the selection interviews, we have many dimensions to talk about and many aspects. First of all, the interview structure, the interview content, the questions, the type of questions included, and the interview way of administration. We have first two types of interviews, unstructured interviews and structured interviews. For unstructured interviews, it looks like 
general conversation and with no set format but the structured interview or directive interview it includes set of questions set of possible answers and wait for each answer in order to ensure the um, fair treatment for all the candidates and you have to follow this structured interview in your interviews with all the candidates available regarding the content of the questions we have situational questions behavioral questions job related questions and stress interview the situational interview the candidates you, uh, the interviewer ask uh, the candidates or the interviewee about what would be his behavior in a given situation here the interview the interviewer gives the situation to the interviewee but in the behavioral interviews you, you as an interviewer ask applicants to describe how they reacted in actual situation in the past according to their experience related to job related interview questions you ask the candidates or applicants about relevant past experience related to the job performance and finally in the stress interview you intentionally ask the applicants uncomfortable situations uh, sorry uncomfortable questions and rude questions in order to measure his emotional stability and stress tolerance when we come to the number of interviewers versus the number of interviewees, we have one to one, one interviewer to one interviewee, panel of interviewers to one interviewee, sequentially or all at once at the same time, and computerized interview, personally interview, and may mass interview. These all are some of the kinds of interviews. When we talk about the main selection interview errors that can undermine the effectiveness of the interview, we talk about stereotyping, that is to relate or attribute certain characteristics to particular groups of people. Then we may talk about hollow effect, the tendency uh, to um, get general conclusion about all the characteristics of the individual by one, by your judgment about one characteristic. Also, there is a mistake which is first impression mistake that you jump to conclusion from the first few minutes or the first question you ask the interviewee. There is another error which is called projection that the uh, interviewers should be trained enough in order to avoid this error. This error talks about the tendency to attribute, to attribute one's own motives, feelings or values to others. Another error is the contrast error that the effect of the interviewee order and you fall down in the comparison error. Then the interviewers also may have not an uh, may have uh, may not have an accurate picture about the job and the interviewers may make many mistakes like pre interview impressions act as psychologists which is not true in all cases or in some cases improper asking improper questions for being an effective interviewer you have to prepare a structured interview first to identify job characteristics using the job analysis writing list of questions based on job characteristics Plan to ask each applicant the same question. Plan to score responses using benchmark and accepted answers with weight for each answer. And identify the related interviewers, the panel or the interviewers who will conduct the interview. To conduct an effective interview, you have to structure your interview as we already discussed and make sure you know the job. Then to get organized. Get organized means being on time as an interviewer. Choose a quiet and private room with little or no interruptions in order to avoid the disturbance you may cause for the interviewees. Establish a rapport as setting the candidate 
the candles at ease and start to talk talk with them in a friendly relaxed way uh, not to talk about uh, debatable issues let the candidate know uh, know, the, uh, know about uh, the time frame of the interview and know about the uh, provide him with information to let him know about the job and the job description the mission of the company then to start to ask the questions you already prepared uh, whether situational behavioral job related or whatever the interviewees answer the questions you have to take brief and obvious notes in order to avoid the contrast error and many errors and recalling errors in order to complete the interview in an effective way you have to take unobvious notes in order to reach a proper decision and then closing the interview with leaving time to answer any questions of the candidates thank the applicants for being interested in your organization uh, communicate any next steps uh, the applicants will go for using all information in order to complete any negotiations and take a decision. The organization usually review the background for the uh, and the history for the candidates in order to check uh, his information and un uncover damaging information this enables the company to co uh, protect the uh, performance of the candidates by contacting current or former employers ask about his previous performance ask his supervisors in order to get enough information about this candidate Organizations also may use social networks and ask for bank statements besides official po police records investigations in order to check the history of the candidates. Thank you.